All right, Doomers, we have our day. It's September 6th. The UN Secretary General came out today and stated that humanity is in climate breakdown and that August was the hottest month on record next to July, both this year. I'm certain this has flooded your news briefings, but here we are as a community witnessing, experiencing, living through climate breakdown. The dogs aren't just biting, they're barking, and I see no progress still. Wouldn't even matter if we did. I want to backtrack and say two comments which struck me. One from Kurt Anderson stating that denial is a disease. Even people who are climate aware can't really grasp how severe it will get quickly. And another comment from a longtime subscriber, Dale, who says, quite simply, fuck COP28. 29, 30, whenever, wherever, and I am hoorah with you there, sir. I've been on this gravy train for Meat Sauce Express for a few years since 2019, 2020, when I got really invested into what humanity could do and take it from an official, among many others on this channel, that it's a load of horse shit and there's nothing, uh, even, even people you least expect get how uh, farce it is to have a bunch of um, rich, you know, fossil fuel lobbyists show up at one place on the planet. All right, hottest August. We hit 1.5. Paris Agreement is on thin ice. Okay. Thank you, Guterres. So, every day, some new news and the world keeps going. I just found out someone from high school uh, went through had breast cancer, one year survivor, I think. Very, very smart gal, smarter than me. And that's just, you know, why does bad shit happen to decent people all over the world? You know, like as I'm saying this, it's just, it's just pandemonium, pure crazy that uh, there's literally someone screaming to death getting raped right now in Haiti. Um, somebody lost their car keys, you know, all the lights on the horizon, all the people someone fighting with their baby right now arguing with their spouse about pasta literally at this minute someone's dying and someone's being born someone just got in a car accident i mean this whole clusterfuck world that we live in um and you think about your needs and what you want as a person and all of this know thyself it is an experience that i am openly sharing on the internet not afraid um it's more than nothing to lose. This sets my soul on fire. Being, uh, this makes me feel free. I, you know, I don't need the BMW uh, to feel. What do I need? What What do you need? Devastating news. I'm sure Regina and Climate Emergency Forum are going to be, you know, putting a lot of zest behind these these news headlines. And my ragtag group of subscribers literally like one flew over a cuckoo's nest and proud of it um because you guys are the most rational people i know you know all of us have some sort of neuroses or mental uh challenge but in all hindsight you guys are the most adept at seeing through what's going on right now which is a lie everywhere all the time And one of my, I should not fail to mention that one of my subscribers has been with me a long time, Lone Wonder. He might be parting soon, doesn't think he can take it anymore. And that is a whole entire segment and channel to talk about uh, your exit plans, when and how you should do them. And I am at an advocate for any of it, as long as you notify people around you, you know, and be respectful about it. You don't want to leave, be tainted you know, leave people tainted, that you care about suffer more. Like, a good example is that guy who lit himself on fire in front of the Congress. He knew what he was doing. He told everyone what he was doing. They all knew what was going to happen. You know, it was, a, it, was a, it was an organized thing rather than something chaotic and, 
you know, what does it matter? You'll be gone anyways. I know you could think that, but you know, you still care. You have like one or two people that, you know, would be really, you know, alarmed by this information. So I, I bid him farewell if he decides to leave this earth and to the astral dimension. Been a good ride. Try to have some fun. So these are some banger headline news and we're just getting started. And no matter what Peter Kalmus comes on the, ch you know, the channel to say, uh, or, you know, gets invited, the man, the liar, you know, it doesn't matter. We're not changing course. Uh, it, we are the collapse of everything. Doomed. Doomed. And if you need any reminder, go and visit any city on the East Coast and South especially. Uh, might I name a few like Arkansas, you know, Tennessee, uh, Massachusetts, North Carolina, South Carolina. Go to the early, go to the provinces, you know, the, and see it's, it's going back in time. Everything is decrepit and they're building up new townhomes and it's just, it looks like half of America looks like the last of us already. It's just, it's a bombed out mess. You're surprised. How are we going to convert this, you know, right? to zero carbon energy by 2030, come on. Just accept it. You guys have. All right, I'm getting some mosquitoes. Keep it real, Doomers. I'll talk to you soon.